Harry, you know, we step out with actresses, we don't marry them, and Harry shot off. The Queen then tried to intervene. Harry shut her up, and they had no choice but to allow the marriage. If they didn't like it, they were just gonna have to suck it up. And she said she'd never heard the expression suck it up before, but she didn't need an explanation because as soon as she heard it, she knew exactly what it meant. Two weeks ago, yeah. we did an interview. Mm -hmm. And you said... Just two weeks ago. You we said you it. didn't want to do anything about politics. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, Liz Truss, I don't see her resigning. I think she's going to hang on, Theresa May style, a few hours later. She was gone. Mr. Speaker, I am a fighter and not a quitter. I've got this so that I can be mistaken for a bird. What? Yes, I can be mistaken for a bird. You think that's camouflage? Yes. Have any women ever behaved badly? Women behave badly in very different ways. You know, women behave badly because they get jealous or something isn't to their liking or they think that you've done something mean to them. You made it sort of socially exciting and interesting. You put on so many exhibitions. When I became director of the Serpentine and we did a series of dinners when the Princess of Wales was our patron from 93 to 96, uh, one of which she wore the very famous dress, the revenge dress. And so that was a way of raising money for our renovation, with the gallery very badly needed it, yes. and also having fun at the same time. She must have been amazing in bed. She is, I understand. I was told by somebody who is in a position to speak with some authority on the subject that she is fearsomely good in bed. The word was fearsomely good in bed. Oh, <laughs> mm. lovely. Yeah, urban survival, that's a good... And then I bought three, three red lipstick, essential pencils. You told me I bought a double cooker, but she doesn't think it's any good. It's arriving on Sunday, which How is really you annoying. How did carry a double cooker around? You know, Romeo's bleeding when you come into my house, because Gary, at the end of the movie, uh, Lena Olin comes in and the door opens and he's singing in slow motion. And I stole that bell of the set. <laughs> And it's on my front you say door. You are a thief. So every time I go, of course, you know, but always just little things. Yes. And when Gary first came to see me at this apartment after we got the reward from Julia, he came through the door and he suddenly went like, fucking hell, it's the bell. <laughs> you don't put anybody you don't like in here. Yeah, we don't force anything. What do you feel about diversity? Do you think it's being forced? Yes. I think that, uh, in a sense, I mean, if you look, over the past year, the way that the books have gone, it seems like there is um, forcedness to the diversity. Yes. Basically, do you think that it can change? You know, we're heading along a very oh, wow. quick road to absolute <laughs> devastation. I've got a shower as well. You get hot water within 20, 30 minutes. Well, don't you need that? No, you don't need a shower. I always respect my boundaries. I always respect the boundaries of the another person. So yeah. we, we will, of course, as far we enjoy everything, everything is good. I knew you would be glamorous, but it was quite incredible. Well, it was the, the whole idea about the peaceful demonstration was that, that it was over COVID and that people were fighting over. If you're anti-vax, that's fine with me. If you're pro-vax, that's fine with me. And then I've got a loo coming. Okay, okay, okay. I know you don't like that, but I like a bit of privacy, so I bought a tent to go over the loo. Have you actually ever done it in the forest? I'm talking about, you know... No, I don't like you too. that. I don't like that. That's very smelly. And um, you have the ability to make people happy. So how do you use this in your real life? So you're in the middle of having a family row. How do you remember? Oh, my goodness. I must start boiling the potatoes and calm down. I mean, how do you, how do you transfer this? <laughs> You know, the whole point with this is to not, to catch yourself that that's what you're doing. And you know what we do? We start laughing about it. Jackie was actually a lady. And Jackie was actually a decent person. She might have been very materialistic, but she was very honorable and she was a very decent no, person. No, but she was an elegant person as yes. well and, you know, chic. Well, it's a, fi it's a difference between a fine racehorse and a very like broken down donkey. <laughs> and there, there's this thing here where you put it on your head and you can go through dark tunnels. A head thing. Yeah, I like those. 
<laughs> she is a vulgarian of the highest order. Yes. And she is actually distastefully greedy. But from her point of view, it is a necessary problem. So that's what I bought today. I mean, all of that came, I mean, it's really expensive, all this shit.